this in my spirit tonight. Hallelujah, mighty God. Woo! Woo! Hallelujah! Woo! I got a will in my spirit tonight. Woo, my God. Let me tell you something here. The only reason why I come on here is because people want to go to church. I don't care what church it is. They think you got to have music to praise God. But I'm telling you something. In the Holy Ghost, you don't need that music to praise God. Because in the Bible, it says, hallelujah, glory to God. You don't need music to shout. People think, because, oh, we got the shout and we got the, we got the Holy Ghost is moving and operating. That's all good. But sometimes with people, we need a word from the Lord, a word from heaven. And I'm coming to tell some of y'all people here on my YouTube channel that go to those churches where they shout with the music just because of the beat. I'm glad for the beat. Praise God. Glad for the shout. But it ain't in the shout. It's after the music stops. What do you do? What? Where do you go? Oh, I said, where do you go? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Woo. Where do you go? Where do you go? You ain't going nowhere. Hallelujah. Because you are depending on a beat. You depending on the beat? You think that the beat's gonna make it more uh, powerful and movable? And you know, I can I can hook a book and I can I can do my jig and do all that. Well, the devil's a liar. Woo! Hallelujah! I've seen too many folks in Holiness Church in Pentecost, both in a uh, Holiness Pentecostal Trinitarian churches and in Apostolic Pentecostal churches. They want to shout to a beat. Oh! But what do you do after you get done shouting after that beat? Huh? Oh, you still shout. You still praise. You still leap. You still do everything God wants you to do. But, oh, God, hallelujah, should kind of be his glory. Woo, my God, hallelujah, you still do what God wants you to do. God said, I will pour out a miracle on you. Hallelujah. I said, God said it. Not Mike, not some other person, but, oh, God said it. Oh, and God settles that. I know some people think I'm crazy because I get on here and I preach the gospel without fear or favor or scared of what someone's going to say, whether they report this video, whether they dislike it, whether they don't like it. Oh, but like the Bible said, woo, just like the Bible said, I got the Holy Ghost oh, from the top of the last hair on my head to, to the soles of my pinky foot. Hallelujah. Should kind of be his glory. Woo, I'm waiting on some person. I don't know who this is for. But the next time you go to church, I don't care whether it's a midweek, whether it's a Wednesday night, a Tuesday night, Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday morning, Sunday night, whenever it is, midday, Sunday afternoon, you better get your feet to dancing. You better get your feet to moving because God wants to hallelujah, tell you something. It ain't in the, it ain't in the drums. It ain't in the organ. It ain't in the piano. All musicians, I'm telling you tonight, get off that piano. Get When the spirit starts moving, get off that. Get off that organ, get off that keyboard, get off that uh, uh, drum set, and take you a leap of faith. Take you a leap of victory. Sometimes we go to church, and we just sit there, we go, oh, well, they doing that, they doing this, they doing this, and they're going here, they're doing that. Don't work, be so concerned about other people. You get your miracle. Oh, I said you get your miracle. I love, uh, hey, don't get me wrong. I love to be backing up a preacher. I love to be playing behind a pastor. But oh, I 
said to get your miracle. You got to get get it for yourself. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, praise be to Jesus. Like that song says, this old time religion had to get it for myself. This old time religion had to get it for myself. How the preacher talked about it and how it really worked. I had to get it. had to get it for myself. Sometimes we got to get our praise for ourselves. We can't be dependent on music to get us, get us over. We got to get the word. It's to preach adulterated word of God. It's what's helping people. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, I seen a lot of, uh, I seen a lot of friends come and go, but you know what? Mike hasn't changed. Mike's still the same. Oh, the Bible says the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but do the pulling down of strongholds. Hallelujah. But the thing is, we got to get to a place that we can really, uh, hallelujah, have the favor of God. When the Holy Ghost gets a hold of you, oh, and I say a real, a holy dance. You take that holy dance, I don't care whether you shake until you, oh, knock everybody down on your row. Or knock every chair down in your aisle. Oh, hallelujah. You get so intoxicated in the presence of God, you don't know what to do. You start rolling. Some people do jumping jacks in the house of God. Some people do backflips in the church, in, in the house of God. Oh, hallelujah. And I'll tell you something. Sometimes it's not all about you know, the I, and don't get me wrong, I love a good hoop and a good holler, but it's not for every service. Hallelujah. Sometimes it's teaching moments that gets people over. Hallelujah. You hear me in the spirit. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. It's not because people are making us do what we do. This is the thing. People think the church is making us live holiness because we put our uh, shirts all the way up to our neck and, and, and we don't show our arms and we don't know. Nobody's making us do this. We choose to live this holiness life. We choose to live it. We choose to do what we do. We don't do things out of, uh, out, out of ritual and tradition. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. There's people that are going to, like the Bible says, they're going to persecute you. They're going to make fun of you. They're going to make fun of your uh, 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 belief, your denomination. Hallelujah. Who you are affiliated with, the people you hang with. I know a lot of people up here in, in the north. I live in the northern part of the states, but I live in the northern part of the states in the Midwest. And where I live, we don't have any holiness churches. The only folks that looks like us are Apostolic Pentecostal, United Pentecostal people. And we also have one independent Apostolic Church here in our town. But those are the only people that look like us holiness folks. But you know one thing? That does not change. But I tell you something. I'm Pentecostal from the head, from the top of my head to the soles of my foot. Hallelujah. And I ain't changing for nobody. People think because I don't watch TV, I don't go to the movie house, everything is outdated. Everything I do is outdated. No, nobody is making me do what I do. I do it because I'm trying to please him and I'm trying to make it over to the other side. And if people get that desperate for God and Get desperate for the things of God. I've, I've, I've heard this preacher say this once before. The things I once loved, now I hate. And the things I love, now I love it. And I love going to church. Church is my, 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 my safe haven, as one of my friends from Virginia would say. It's my hiding place. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Like I tell people, I got all kind of friends. I have friends from the from the from the Baptist denomination. I have friends from the Apostolic denomination. I have friends from from uh, from Trinitarian Pentecostal Holiness uh, 
movement, the movement I'm a part of, and then you got I have friends that are that that are that are a part of charismatic Pentecostal Trinitarian churches. But you know what? That does not change my outward appearance. People think because they get around these groups of people that you have to change for the people. Some people might say, oh, well, Mike, you know, you're you're in some brainwashing religion. You're in this brainwashing denomination. I don't care what you think. Because one thing, I, I, I like I say, I've been persecuted by a lot of people. I've been persecuted by uh, uh, family members. I've been persecuted by uh, so-called friends. Found out they were my enemies. They were backstabbing. But you know what? Some folks we got to walk away from. And in this season, I'm not afraid to say it. In this season that I'm in right now, I'm not afraid to say it. I already lost one local friend here. I lost uh, some local friends here because I stood my ground on what I believed in. I'm not changing. I'm not wavering in what I believe. I'm thankful for what I believe in. I'm not uh, I'm not scared. I'm not I'm not sitting up here being braggadocious, but I'm doing it because I want to get preach the gospel to all nations, to all people from all walks of life. Cause like I tell people, you never know what other people's situation, what they're facing, what they're battling, what people could be battling depression. Some people could be uh, battling uh, a suicide. Uh, some people could even be dealing with uh, trust issues. But you know, one thing I tell people is that this battle is not yours. It's God's. You give it over to him and let the, let the words of your mouth and the meditation of God's be in your sight. Be in your sight. You want people to look at you. You don't say, oh, look how holy I am. Look how holy I am. We don't walk around doing that. We don't walk around doing that. Where they do that at? Not over here in holiness. We don't do that. We don't go around and say, oh, look how holy I am, Pastor. Oh, Pastor, I got, you know, my hair's up in the bun and, and it's right. No, Pastor, I don't got all no, no, no jewelry, Pastor. And, and, and I'm clean shaven and oh, I'm this. No. But I'm going to close with this. Let the presence of the Lord be so rich in your life that God sees you because you're a servant of him. So I want to encourage you this week. Love God, serve others, and pray and fast. God bless you and know that uh, God is good and that God he has everything right in your hands. And God bless you, YouTube family. Love y'all. Bye.